Hello. Uh, I'm going to go for a, a walk around and a cycle around on this uh, mean machine and the small soys and some local markets of this part of Bangkok, which is Samson Road and Teret. And so, okay, let's go. Uh, the beginning of Teret meat and vegetable market. Goes on for a long way down there. This is the beginning part. Over here we got chicken, vegetables. There's that lady smiling at me. And there we are. Coming out the other end of the market. So right now we're near the end of the Tarot market and uh, just up here, we're approaching here are some on the backpacker scene, pretty well known little guest houses where I used to stay many moons ago, up there. Now I'm just going to walk a little bit further down here. Now, rest of the market. I'm going to walk up this side over here. Sorry, cat. That's my friend's old house. Ben? Fellow vlogger. Nice delivery. Very important service. Gotta have the ice in the cold drink. And look at those cashew nuts drying in the sun. There's some barbecue chicken, kebab things, more of them. Hello, somebody cap. This is where the guest houses are. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on around here. This is Terrace Guest House, formerly known as Little Home. I stayed here for a long time. Back in late 90s, early 2000s. I'm getting attacked by a pony dog, so I'm going to go away. <laughs> These are the other guest houses in Terre. This is Shanty Lodge. Very popular place with the backpackers. Now empty. It's just cleaner. There's a little alleyway down there with the Sawat Di guest house, which is here. Also used to be very popular. Here's the once popular 
foot massage places. And here's the Sri Ayutthaya guest house and Thai kitchen, which is also empty. And Tabby house is just down there. So this is the uh, state of the guest house scene in Teret right now. A far cry from its former self, but um, let's hope that soon things get back to normal again. We're gonna have a little look at this side of the market first. Some fresh foods, vegetables. Lovely fruit, some cloves, many things you can buy on this side and when we cross over the road I'll show you that. Ah here you go look, there's a four pan, joss sticks, soaps and general stuff you might need for your home. Shop. And we'll continue walking up and we'll cross the road. I'll show you some good stuff in Tibet. Which we're gonna mix with Ashes. Ashes video. He's a new member of the team. Well he's always been a member of the team, but there you go, good. Let's have a little walk up here before we cross the road into the sea south of it. Have a little look. Okay, some fruits. Making the traditional omelette. Fried bread. And some delicious street food around here too. Into sea south of it have a look around there and we'll mix it with uh, Ash's video see what's going on this noodle shop is very famous great great uh, noodles here I'm not hungry at the moment but maybe later Ooh, close shop here oh, it's right next to this tree and as you can see they've decorated the tree special type of tree. We use it for prayers and pulling off the spirits and stuff like that. So the more people looking to see South of it. Up on the tree, just going to cross the road and have a look at these guest houses. I'm going to compare them to Ash's video and see what's going on. So Yutio is not open yet. They'll be open, I'm telling you. Definitely December, January, sure. Let's have a look at, ah, Saladi's open, which is good news. And I believe that Shanty's gonna be open. And yes, they have the chairs out there. The Shanty's open as well. I'm looking for some customers, which is great news. Good. Sawadee Kap. This is the Tawet guest house. Just here, Tawet's guest house. Formerly known as Little Home. I stayed here in the late 90s, in the early 2000s, many times. This used to be a restaurant, and uh, this is where the the rooms are and the reception down there towards the end. Oh, I hope the coffee place will open soon as well. Sure it will. Here, right next to this red truck, 
in my opinion, they do the best sometime in Bangkok. It normally opens around about 4 p.m. I'll link that in the description as well. Yes, we're going to have a look at Wat Si Sautavet, which is right next to the university here. Okay, and as you know, all the links in the description. We'll have a little look around this temple. You notice they've got four bridges on each corner. One, two, three, four. And the surrounding this main Buddha statue here. Again, the bells on either side. The main wat, the main temple here. Let's have a look inside. Huh? Shoes off. bridge as well, just peeking out of the roots. This temple you can see the other side of the university. Walkway along this, uh, this riverside restaurant here. That's like the marina where they keep uh, the royal boats at times. And uh, here we are. This uh, walkway now, which goes onto the platforms on the river and uh, the restaurant. There's some old style cycle rituals. Decor of the old Bangkok. And uh, here's the river here. And uh, unexpectedly, there's no people here. So, howdy, cap. Somebody, my? Okay, Niap, huh? Okay, couple cap. in respect to the shrine of the Buddha. And this is the uh, plant market. Always been a pretty interesting feature. They've got all kinds of plants for sale, of course. 
can get the cactus and all that. I wonder if they got the cat on. Okay. There you go, look at that. And that's the river just down there where we're going to be heading any minute now. So now we're at Terek here, just walking along the gangway that goes to it. There you go, wet market. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sabaydi Kat. Bong. Mayu, bang mayu, nakon, ah, nakon ti tamat. Well, they they remembered me from a, a long time ago. <laughs> this is Kaltar bar. Yeah, I used to come a lot. They used to play me harmonica in there. And uh, here's the pier. The small boat that just goes across the river that costs about two or three baht. There we are, Teret Pier. And down here, there's millions of fish, usually catfish. They feed them because it's near the temple. Maybe that's what I should do. Right, there it is, the old Kautar Bar. Here, up here. Some people here feeding the fish. <laughs> Local people feeding the fish. Thirty cap. And look at that. And that is the wondrous Rama 8 bridge. I watched it getting built. Partly sitting over there, drinking beer in that bar. And this green foliage that we see in the river here is not indigenous to Thailand. It was introduced 100 years ago or something for some reason and it clogs the river right up at times. I remember being given the whole story about this from local people years ago. There you go. There's a little old tugboat or the little boat coming back from the other side of the river with the folks over there. Two customers. An interesting little tour about into my older stomping ground Tewe and surrounding areas. Now I'm going to enjoy this lovely iced coffee with no sugar. <laughs> 